Hello guys, welcome to this YouTube channel. A good day to everyone watching this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the important books that you need to refer when you are preparing for your GATE Excel 2024 examination. So before getting started, I would like to remind you guys to definitely buy this updated formula sheet for GATE Excel and GATE BT for your upcoming 2024 examination. It's just uh, 99 rupees and uh, it's going to be really helpful. I mean, even I bought the same formula sheet and I was able to secure AIR 28 in my GATE Excel 2023 examination. So I would definitely recommend this formula sheet, especially when you are going for your last minute preparation and last minute revision tricks. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So, the best books to refer for GATE Excel 2024 examination. So, we all know that the GATE Excel paper consists of three main important sections that is uh, general aptitude, the chemistry, and uh, any two of the following sections that you can actually opt for. So, um, the general aptitude, aptitude and the chemistry sections are going to be compulsory. Whereas among biochemistry, microbiology, botany, zoology, and food technology, you can choose any two sections uh, according to your uh, aptitude level and uh, convenience. Okay, so, so I'm starting with some of the important books that you need to refer for chemistry. So if you're pretty new to the chemistry syllabus after referring the syllabus, then I would first recommend you to go through the class 11 and class 10 chemistry NCRT textbook. So the reason why I would suggest this because it is going to play a very important role in enhancing your basics. So I would recommend you to read them thoroughly before you start with any other uh, high level textbooks. So after reading NCRT thoroughly and getting very uh, familiarized with the concepts, I would then suggest you to go for a lot of practice uh, first with uh, certain uh, prescribed uh, textbooks like, uh, you know, uh, there are certain prescribed textbooks for uh, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry. They are for various competitive exams, but they will also be very much helpful for your GATE Excel chemistry uh, section. And after doing this and getting a very good hang over the concepts, then I would definitely recommend you to go with previous year's questions and solve them with your own tricks, with your own uh, concepts, and then compare it with the answers and check for your uh, uh, scores that you would most probably get from this particular section. So moving on, uh, the, some of the chemistry textbooks include uh, the R.C. Mukherjee, the O.P. Tandon, which is like very important for organic chemistry, and there's Wiley Physical Chemistry. Wiley Publications have a lot of good books, and it helps you to score really well and get a very good concept clarity. And then there is Concise uh, Inorganic Chemistry by J.D. Lee, and then Atkins Physical Chemistry. So these are the kind of books that you would be referring after you have been uh, after you have got a good hangover, the concepts from NCRT chemistry textbooks. Moving on uh, to general aptitude. Regarding general aptitude, I would suggest any standard textbooks that are like available in libraries. So, so if you search in the internet, there's going to be a lot of books that's coming in. Again, general aptitude totally depends on the IQ level of the person. And I would definitely suggest you to go with some of the standard textbooks that are actually mentioned in library, any library access that you have. And if your uh, college degree has curriculum and soft skills, then that is like more than enough for you to, you know, attend general aptitude because it totally depends on the IQ level of the person and if you can solve the previous year's uh, questions then you will be definitely able to get uh, you know the idea of in which level you are in and in my uh, opinion I would say that you can easily score between 12 to 15 or I mean even full marks in general aptitude and it, it should be really fully scorable okay so it's like you know the a cake with an icing on the top so I would definitely suggest you to score almost full in general aptitude. So moving on. So um, this slide consists of all the important life sciences textbook. The reason why I've put them all together because each textbook has uh, topics that can that can kind of uh, 
you know, cover uh, important topics from various sections. So that's the reason why I've put all these books together. So starting with Leninger's biochemistry, uh, principles of biochemistry. So this is like the God book for biochemistry. You read Leninger and you become, uh, you know, really thorough with all the concepts in biochemistry. And then you will have a very good idea over all the concepts. And then there is uh, Wiley, Fundamentals of Biochemistry. Stryer, Stryer is a very nice book. I mean, it has very good questions uh, as book back uh, exercises. And the concepts are explained in a very uh, easy language and very easy English language. So it should be very easy for you. And then there's uh, Biochemistry by Satya Narayana and uh, Chakrapani. So this book, it's by an Indian author. So people who are like, you know, uh, more adapted to the Indian author style of writing books, then this book is the best fit for you. And then I would suggest you that you first read this book before you start with any foreign authors. If you kind of feel that uh, Indian uh, system of, you know, writing textbooks is more suitable for you. Moving on, um, there is also Harper's uh, Biochemistry. So this biochemistry book is also very good. It has a lot of illustrations. And then comes The Cell, The Molecular Biology of the Cell, the Albert Leavis book. This is like the very important book. And uh, you have to read this book thoroughly before you go to, for any kind of competitive exams. And then this Lodish book, which is the molecular cell biology, it kind of uh, has uh, concepts from both biochemistry and cell biology and molecular biology all put together. It's a, it's a pretty big book. And then for immunology, I would recommend Abul K. Abbas and uh, Janeway. Janeway has a lot of good illustrations. Um, it's a pretty good book for, uh, you know, various uh, pictorious illustrations. And uh, for developmental biology, I would say Scott E. F. Uh, Gilbert. I mean, this book is also really good. I mean, uh, it has a lot of illustrations and the concepts are uh, explained pretty well. And then uh, if you want to go pretty further into the molecular biology of the gene, I would say this book by Watson, it's pretty good. And then there's also Gerald Karp, uh, the author. And then regarding analytical techniques, uh, uh, the the analytical techniques in biotechnology, the, the questions related to the various techniques like spectroscopy and things like that. For this, I would suggest the book written by Keith Wilson and John Walker. So this book is pretty good for that. So people who opt for uh, food technology as one of the five sections should be uh, going through these uh, two important food technology books by Kalidas uh, Shetty and uh, Parmjit S. Uh, Paneser. And these two books are pretty important and these are even prescribed for uh, uh, students who pursue food technology in their bachelors as well. Uh, for physiology, we have a section on animal physiology. If you take up zoology as uh, one of your sections and uh, in that we have uh, medical uh, physiology as well, questions related to human body. So the best uh, an, uh, human physiology book is Guter and Hall. I mean, um, you can have the basic overview of all the concepts. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend you to go very deep into the subjects, but a basic concepts. And if you really have a good interest in human physiology and things related to medical field, then this book is the best fit for you. And if you want to have the overall picture of just the animal physiology, I would say this book by Christopher D. Moyes is really good. And then there's also another uh, human physiology book by Ganon's review of medical physiology. So people who opt for microbiology as their uh, as one of the two sections should be able to go through this book uh, that is uh, microbiology, a human perspective. And this black book is like the is like one of the god books of microbiology, microbiology principles and explorations by. Uh, G Black and it's it's a very important book. It has very amazing concepts, and uh, it is all well written and it is pretty voluminous. But it should be manageable for people who have done microbiology as one of their majors. And moving on, there is uh, one more microbiology book that I would suggest by Stuart Hogg. It's called Essential Microbiology. And people who take up plant biology as uh, one of the uh, two sections should be able to go through these books. Uh, that is Stern's Introductory Plant Biology and Fundamentals of Plant Physiology, Plant Systematics, uh, and uh, the Plant Pathology. So uh, regarding the plant biochemistry, it would, it would already be covered in the 
standard biochemistry books. So regarding the other uh, botany stuffs like the systematics and pathology, you can refer these books. So these books are like pretty important and uh, these are some of the editions that I have used and I have put here. If there are any latest editions that are actually available, I would recommend you to download them or even get a copy of them and read them. And uh, don't just go with the old versions that I just mentioned here, get the uh, latest versions. So that will be in a better way either as an ebook from any library source or any legal source or through any uh, as even a physical copy from various libraries as well so these are some of the important books that i would definitely suggest if you have a very good hang of them then an ar less than 20 should even be possible along with uh, practicing the previous year's uh, questions so that's it for this video i would uh, i would definitely uh, I'd like all of you to like this video, share this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would also request all of you to stay to be stay tuned for more videos and uh, happy learning and make sure you like, share and subscribe and also get the formula sheet for your Kate Excel and KATPT 2024 preparation. Thank you.